Today uh, I have a new project uh, going on here. <laughs> Always something. Um, I'm going to fix finally my hallway uh, because yesterday I went and I, I bought this um, laminate floor. Uh, so, but uh, I will I will install this here now. But of course, before I have to do the painting of this uh, space. Uh, well, God, don't look at this door. It's horrible, I know. I'm uh, going to replace it with a new door, actually. So that's why I haven't bothered to, to do anything about it. At least I have one door ready, because when I made the bathroom, I painted this door. So I took out the things I will need. I, I will mix. I have a yellow color here. I will mix this yellow color with white, so it will be a very, very, very light yellow color, I hope. Uh, it will be very, very nice, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's a lot to do. It's a, it's a small hallway, but it's uh, still a lot to do. So, let's get into it. And there are so many small niches and things like that. But look how, uh, I, I find this very useful, these uh, uh, steel, small steel brushes to work with details. Now I started to fill out the cracks. Uh, all purpose filler. It's always trickier, obviously, to do things in the roof. Like, I am just an amateur improvising fixing my house by myself learning by doing so to speak and hoping that what i do is is the right thing the good thing with this all-purpose filler is that you can fill up everything from from small holes i mean from small tiny cracks to bigger things like like this here and I started to only use my hand. It's really, really, I like to, 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 use, to use my hand only because then I can smooth it out and fill it up exactly where I want to have it. And all this, the doors around Every, all the doors had cracks like this, so I just take, I just fill them out. Like I was working outside also with the terrace, but it got too dark because I had to move some very big rocks, and very dangerous when when you can't even can't see. So I I went back here now, <laughs> continue with this. Uh, here, because this the filling here, the all-purpose filling that I filled in here, it's dry now. So it's so easy. I just sanded this now to to make it take away all the ex ex excess. It's so easy to sanded this. We have these uneven parts. And look, I do this. Da -da -da. Smooth and easy, all-purpose filling. So good, so so good. I will continue to sandpaper everything I've done here now, so I can put uh, the primer. I mean, this uh, the ground before you paint. You're supposed to put this on. I've learned. And yeah. I have this long thing to so I can reach because I will start to prime uh, the roof. Let's start with the roof, da 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 da, let's prime the roof. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get quite tired, it's almost 10.30 in the evening, I've been working since the morning. But I don't know, I just, I just can't stop. I just want to see how it looks like and, and also, uh, I want to finish this because um, if I have this done, then I can uh, concentrate full, full for on the, on the new terrace I'm building, which I'm so uh, excited and, and curious about because 
since I want to build uh, this fireplace there also. Um, so I think that's what what is pushing me. Okay, so we came finally to the painting part, the fun part, and it's absolutely incredible. I mean, when you put color on, then you really see how how gray and dull the original color was. I finally painted the roof. Yay! But now uh, I want to continue. Can't go start with the walls. Here we go. Here we go with the walls. Now, oh, I have to mix the color. I see in the shops when they do this, they mix in a machine. So I guess I have to stir it around a lot. Uh, before I start to paint with a roller, uh, I did, uh, I painted the, this, the closest part up to the ceiling with a brush. So I get a nice line. Uh, and don't touch the, the ceiling, you know, with a ro roller. Uh, yeah, still painting here. Uh, I have to paint also, you know, with a pencil, all these areas around doors and, and uh, corners and <coughs> things like that. And while I'm doing this, uh, I can see the color is drying over here where uh, painted earlier and it's a really 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 light yellow color so it really turns out you know the way I want it first I wanted yellow then I want the white and then now it's a really really light light yellow so uh, yeah perfect <laughs> This is so much fun to come to this part, uh, the, the painting part. This is when you, when all this preparation and all this pre-work is to get to this, to paint the color you want on your on your walls. And also, my cat appeared. Yeah, Chicky, where have you been all day? <laughs> So the roof and the walls are painted, so this is the end result of the, the color of the walls. Uh, very, very light yellow color. So now we came to the... Um, oh, and I painted that door also, the door frames. And um, yeah, so I'm... I'm, I'm uh, now I'm putting on the insulation here. Uh, and also it will help if the floor is a little bit uneven maybe to to flatten out it a little bit, I hope. Done with the insulation here. And um, yeah, it was a little bit tricky on the edges because since this is an old house and uh, it's a bit uneven along the walls and I really wanted to get it as into the edge because to insulate it as, as good as possible. So I really had to cut and adjust it according to to the edges here. But I'm quite pleased with it. It looks even. Uh, so let's finally, finally comes to the flooring here to put the laminate. And this will be the test for me because I've never done it before. So let's see. So um, trying the floor here on, on to see how it looks and if it's even. Everything looks good so far. The only thing is the corners. So I uh, have to cut a little bit more here to, to fit in this angle here well today I have my again my little dining area here as my workshop look how straight and nice the, the uh, it fits here and the corner Rounded the corner here, so it fits really good there. There's a gap. I was thinking maybe I should try to put the floor as far as I can 
against that wall. And then if I should cut some slices, if I can manage to do that, and fill up here, because otherwise it will look very weird. Uh, of course, I, I, I mean, I, I can put the list, but still there is a very big gap there. So, yeah, but this is going quite well. Well, the floor is um, almost uh, completely done. I fitted here with... Um, I fitted in some wood there, so it will go... And the, the wall is so uneven, it was so difficult to cut out this, but I think this will do, because then it will go, uh, I mean, at least over here that will cover this. But this most important is to have it so it keeps the floor together. I am going to build the, the shelf now for the jackets and the, the shoe, shoes here. Uh, yes, so that's what I'm doing now. So my idea, idea is to, I have this iron bar that I would put in here. So I will make this a hole for it here. I started to drill. Uh, the wood is quite hard, it's hard to, to drill. That's the oh, idea. So now I'm just testing here how far in or out I will have this. Uh, the hanging thing so I think this will be a good because then I can hang things also uh, behind on the oh, wall Shoko. oh my god the dog came in it was raining outside Shoko Shoko outside outside please you're coming in with your dirty feet the hallway is done the mirror is back on its place also I built the, sh the sh shelf here for the jackets, so now I have uh, storage here, I can hang the jackets here, and I have storage on top of this, and this is a very, very, very stable construction that I made here. Um, I secured it with these things, the white things there, the consoles or what they are called. And I put another thing to hang behind, behind there. So now it's just to put back my things. It would be very nice to have a proper hallway now. Before everything was hanging behind the door there. <laughs> On that little wall over there. Still small little touches I have to do. And of course change that ugly door there. But otherwise I'm very very pleased with my hallway.